Document distribution or transmittals. Now that I've created the new documents or imported some existing documents into SharePoint, I'm going to use your DCC to distribute these for either information or for review purposes. First, I'm going to navigate to the transmittal management site where I'm presented with a web part that shows the transmittals that are in the creating state or the latest information regarding response transmittals. Now select to add a new transmittal. A screen will open where I'll give a reason for the issue. These reasons are configurable and will be used to make available other options in transmittals. I'm going to select an interdiscipline check. And you can see that the, the transmittal number is being generated. Again, this is configurable dependent on your organization and how you would like to see these transmittal numbers presented. I may be creating the transmittal on behalf of another user. If that's the case, I can enter that user name in the Add Creator field. But if I leave this blank, it will use the login username. I can choose to add other information such as the originating company, discipline, or a reference if required. Again, these are configurable and you may have your own options that you would like to add. So I'm going to click Save. The transmittal screen will now open and allow me to add documents and tasks to the transmittal. Your DCC will allow the adding of individuals or groups to a transmittal and facilitate the expansion of the groups if required into individual names. I'm going to add a few documents to my transmittal from the register. I will use the Add Attachment uh, button here uh, or if I previously uh, added some documents to the clipboard, I could add it from here as well. But I'm going to add a few documents from the register. And I type in something I know about the the uh, documents I wish to add. I'm just going to select R1-EN and search for that. So you can see I've got some documents here. I'm going to select a couple of documents. Select to add and select. Okay. So you can now see that these documents have been added uh, to the transmittal. I'm now going to add some tasks. And depending on the configuration, as I said earlier, uh, I will be able to send these either for information, response, or to external recipients. I'm now going to uh, send these uh, documents to recipients. So if I select to add an information task, I will be sending a transmittal to a recipient for information only. So I'm not expecting any comments or the transmittal returned to me. However, your DCC will track the receipt and acknowledgement of that transmittal. And I'm going to send it to someone called TUser1. And I have the option here to put in a duration. There is a, a default duration in the system, which is configurable. Uh, but if I wish to have a, a separate duration for this particular transmittal, I could put this in here. If this group, if this uh, recipient had been a group, I can choose to expand that group in the transmittal. And your DCC will expand it, the SharePoint group into individual users. Okay, you can now see I've added an information task. I'm now going to add a response task. Now, the response task is when I'm expecting the recipient to uh, send back an acknowledgement and possibly comment on the, the documents. Again, your DCC will track all the responses and comments made and uh, make these available for later consolida consolidation. Again, the same I'm going to send this one to TUser2. Uh, again, you know, we have the group expand or the duration. You 
Yeah, when I'm happy with that, I have uh, added uh, all the, the recipients and the attachments. You can now see that the Start button and the Export button are available to me. I could also choose to view the cover sheet, which will contain the transmittal information. And I could print out the transmittal information to a hard copy. When I click Start, my transmittal will be sent out to the recipients, along with an email which will allow the user to carry out many of the functions directly from within the email. The recipients will see any documents sent to them in the Viewer DCC homepage or from the email. email. If I'd chosen to export, then the transmittal information such as the cover sheet, documents, comments, they'll be exported out of your DCC for sending to, say, an external recipient who may not be connected to SharePoint. In this case, I am going to start the transmittal and send it to these two users. And I confirm. And your DCC, as you can see down here, it's created the, the transmittal and it has started and sent it out to these recipients. I have now, now logged in as one of the users uh, in my transmittal. I've logged in as TUser1. And you can see here that in my transmittals task, I have several transmittals waiting for me. The ones that are coded red are transmittals that are overdue. The one that's coded orange is a transmittal that's due in, in, in a short time. And the one that's green is still uh, the one that's that's the latest one that I've sent. So I'm just going to look at the latest one I've sent. I click on the task. And you can see that your DCC is tracking the, the dates. And because this was just sent for the information, the option I'm get is to acknowledge the transmittal. But you can see that in your DCC, I can uh, view the whole transmittal. I can op up, open up the documents. I can comment on the documents, which I'll do in a later video. I have an option here to delegate the task to someone else, uh, if I wish someone else to, to get this document for the information, or I can acknowledge and complete the task. And you can see that the task has now gone from my transmittal tasks. I've now logged in as the other recipient on the transmittal. And similarly in my tasks, you can see I've got a couple of overdue and we've got this uh, transmittal that we've just issued. So I'm going to click on this. And because this has been sent to me for review and not just information, I don't just get the acknowledgement. I get an uh, option here to say I have comments or I have uh, no comments on the, the documents. Again, I can view the transmittal from in here. And again, I can look at any of the documents uh, that uh, have been included in the transmittal and comment on them. I can also delegate the task. So maybe this has come to me as a, as a team lead or a lead engineer. And I maybe want to want, want maybe want some of my other engineers to have a look at this so I could delegate a task to, to them. And your DCC will, will still manage that and uh, the delegated, the delegate will be added uh, to the uh, the list on the, the transmittal, so you'll see that uh, on the transmittal as well. So I'm going to complete the task here. And you can see that the task has gone from my inbox. And if I look at the transmittal management screen, you can see that this transmittal it's now been completed, and if I open the transmittal, you can see the responses. So TUser1 got it for the information and has acknowledged it. TUser2 got it for review, and he's completed it with no comments. If this had been delegated, there would have been a task added here so that you could see who it was delegated to and what their response was as well.